is situated in the uh, southeast Gulf of Carpentaria. The traditional owners of the land are the Kuta and Kokach people, but there are three traditional groups, uh, those two including the Kutachara tribe, which I am part of, but we also have uh, the Takalaka people from Croydon and we have people from other tribes that have come down from the Cape. So we are, we're pretty mixed up within the tribes. A lot of the people have taken to the services that are provided by Gigi. To have appointments done, or uh, you would need to travel to Manizer, which is about 500 and something k's, or onto Townsville, whereas bringing the services now that Gigi have here available is good because um, it takes a lot out of them travelling and money is a big constraint um, that also come into play. Eye health is so important. I think people, we take for granted our eyesight. Diabetes can affect eyesight and kidneys. By the time the damage is done, it can be too late. So with regular screening and having the, the retinal photography, we can pick up minor changes in the eyes and prevent people losing their eyesight. We also pick up people that just need glasses to think that you know you can be blind and having a poor quality of life when a pair of glasses makes such a difference. This project has just been so valuable to Normanton so that people don't have to go blind, don't have to miss out. When you stop and think that we're eight and a half hours from the coast to see an optometrist or five hours to Mount Isa, when we have a visiting optometrist and we can get the services done here at home, it means people are having those regular checks instead of going several years between. So being from Normanton, um, in the past there have been issues with healthcare. Normanton has really stepped up from that. We are actually one of the best working clinics in the in the Manaisa region. We have been doing this pretty good um, and we've got very good feedback from the community about our job. Usually with the elders, you know, elderly, you can't, um, if they don't get an escort to go out for the appointment before the, the retinal come out, they usually just um, made out on their appointments and counsel them and their eye health will be getting worse on. When the patients come through, like, they have no idea um, about the, the importance of, you know, eye health. So to be able to take a photo, a retinal photo, the back of the eyes, explaining to them what we're looking for and you know that education as well too, making them aware. One of the problems we have is that you know so many people are told about diabetes and how bad it is for them and of course one of the major problems is that nobody feels too bad and I find that showing them an actual picture and explaining how the back of their eyes being damaged, especially if you see hemorrhages, really has an impact. I've also seen some great results in terms of people really redoubling their efforts and seeing massive reductions in hemoglobin and one see seeing massive reductions in proteinuria and people becoming a lot healthier. People managing reasonable numbers of diabetes would, would find this having access to retinal cameras an excellent idea. I feel very proud and privileged to work in this Gigi clinic. We're a family here, we all work together. By having the clinic here, people can actually make an appointment, come in, see the doctors, see the health workers, um, and get follow-up regularly. Um, and I think that way more people will actually get to be seen, their health will improve more because of it.